Good morning, cadets. I am your instructor for today's lesson. I am Private Jason Termon, Philippine Army Reserve. I am from the municipality of Cubatuan, Iloilo. I, I completed my basic ROTC training here at Central Philippine University in 2012. And I also completed my course, AB Political Science, here also at Central Philippine University in 2016. And our lesson for today is about Military Customs and Traditions 1. So our topic is Military Customs and Traditions 1. So, so the scope, we have definition of customs and traditions, the military traditions, and significant of military customs. So traditions are inherited principles and standards and practices that serves as the established guides for an individual or group. So when you say traditions, it is uh, inherited principles. So we have an example of this is uh, 21 gun salute when someone, a uh, military member or uh, a soldier dies no? after they, uh, they render 21 gun salute. In, their, in the burial of, of the specific soldier. So next is customs. Customs are accepted practices realized through continue, continued usage that has force and effect of a common law. So with, when we say com customs, it has something to do with common law. And, and the example of this is a chain of command. No? Then let's proceed to valor. Valor, an act of a marked degree of courage and bravery in the presence of danger or in the face of the enemy. So when we say valor, it is something to do with courage always and bravery to, in, to uh, accomplish the, mis the mission. So once the soldier is faced in a mission, so it is important to have a valor, the courage and bravery. Okay, so next we have honor. An act of respect gained by men and women, women of the AFP from the civilian populace through good deeds and good examples. So when we say honor, the key word here is, is, is respect, which is gained, no? gained by women and we, men and women of the AFP. So next, we have duty. Duty is an act of responsibility and self-sacrifice. A soldier who has dedicated his life to public service. No, once you are a soldier, you you are your main responsibility is your duty itself. No, so when you say duty, you have the responsibility and your self sacrifice for a public service. Okay, so next is we have your lo loyalty. Loyalty is an act of willing obedience to the governing laws of the country, the constitution. And lawful superiors. So when we say loyalty, it is an act of willing obedience. No? Meaning, is this, meaning to say, you obey all the uh, missions, your the guidelines coming from your superiors. So as a soldier, you are obeying obedience. No. So next, we have solidarity. Solidarity is an act of unity and teamwork shown by every member of the AFP which serves as an ally in the accomplishment of the mission. So, it is important to have a solidarity in every mission. No? So, solidarity always means that you are, you are united and has a teamwork to accomplish the mission. Next. We have national colors and anthems. The Philippine flag and the national anthem symbolize all democratic ideals that our country strand, stand for and serve to remind us of the sacrifices of our heroes in gaining our independence from foreign rule. So, next, national flag. We should always respect the national flag by saluting it whenever it passes through during the parades and other ceremonies where it is raised or lowered. So, for soldier, soldiers, no, uh, even uh, active or reservist, when we, when we uh, 
si national flag we always we always salute and for the civilian when the uh, when the national anthem is played they place the the, the right hands in the left uh, left chest no so a when aboard a vehicle and the flag ceremony begins halt dismount and face the philippine flag and salute it is impractical to dismount or when ceremony is almost over you may just halt and set erect okay so when the philippine flag is tattered or worn down do not display it anymore replace them immediately note the best way to dispose a tattered flag is to bury it no? so national anthem so the same measure of respect and reverence is shown to the national anthem when it is being played face the source of the music amplifier or the band pay, playing it and salute so when you national anthem and the national flag you should uh, same the same measure of respect and reverence should shown no always and when in, when with a group not on information you may salute individually during the play of the national anthem next so salute salute men of arms execute salute as an exchange of greeting courtesy and respect among themselves when it is being played face the source of the music amplifier or the playing it's and salute so salute means uh, you already respect someone not only it was superiors because some sometimes a junior or the uh, personnel may the the senior officer may render salute to a junior or the uh, personnel because they accomplish the mission so that is important that the salute is always with uh, with respect no? not only by ranks so next the flag ceremony a Filipino soldier honors the flag by raising it before the start of the special day's work to pledge that all his efforts for the day is dedicated to God country and people no so when we are in school we we have we uh, uh, encountered that before the the day or the monday the start of the class we are uh, doing the flag ceremony so it is same in the soldier life they uh, fl do the flag ceremony before the, it, it because it means that it, it is the, the start of the official days of work and they pledge themselves that they, they dedicate themselves to God, country, and people. No? It, it is important to uh, the flag ceremony is very important. So, flag retreat. So, flag retreat or the lowering down of the national flag. So, the sounds of the evening gun during a combined ceremonial parade and retreat ceremony constitutional one or of the inspiring customs of the service military personnel in camps or garrison pause for a moment either to salute the national flag or sing the national anthem so in civilian life like the students the flag retreat is done in every friday so it is it is same in the uh, military life they done also the flag retreat for a specific for a specific occasions so next the three valley valleys over grave or we could call it the 21 gun salute so 21 gun salute is performed by seven individual soldier three shots each seven times three so it means 21 so 21 gun salute or so this is a sign of respect and gesture tendered to our departed comrade in arms so next is white flag of truce a worldwide custom used to signal the temporary cessation of home hostilities between warring pa parties so white flag truce means cessation of hostilities or it can be a sign of a surrender of a specific party so next 
Wearing of decorations. Military personnel who honorably earn decorations in the performance of duty display them as part of the uniform during appropriate occasions. So, next. The raising of right hand in taking oath. The taking of oath for truth of statement of testimony has always been solemn and serious matter accompanied by ceremony. In essence, the taking of the oath calls upon his God to bear witness that the truth would be told. Ceremony tendered to a retiree. So, this is tendered to a military retiree in recognition of his long, faithful, and honorable service to the AFP. No? So, every retiree or a retired soldier is being rendered by, by this ceremony. Next is pipe calls. Trumpet or bugle calls. Pipe, trumpet, or bugle calls add more distinction and excitement to the regimented life of a military personnel. As the day-to-day -day activities unfold, the sound of these calls rejuvenate, rejuvenate every system of his body to continue performing the things as signaled by each call. So, when they ho hear these calls, the soldier is being, is being uh, inspired no? to perform their tasks in serving the country. Okay. So next, we have courtesy of post. So, an officer of any of the armed services visiting uh, at a membership if the stay in the vicinity is extended, military post or one who resides in its vicinity is often extended the courtesy of the post by the commanding officer after the prescribed official call has been made. This, is, this may include the privilege of accommodation at officer's club and officer's mess if the visit is of short duration and, and the privilege of military honors. Full complement honors for dignitaries. Example is a president or ex president. So, ang gun salute is 21 and the raffles is 4. So, by the, by the way, raffles is a low vibrating drum beats. So, the music is the national anthem and the unit size is battalion. Foreign heads of state. Gun salute is 21. Raffles is 4 also. And the national anthem is the music. And the unit size is battalion. So next, vice president, gun salute, 19. And the raffles is 4. And the music is march. And the unit size is battalion also. So next, next is chief of justice, gun salute is 19. And the raffles is 4. The music is also march. And the unit size is battalion. Department Secretaries, Gun Salute, 19, Raffles is 4, March, and the music, and the unit size is Battalion also. So next, Military Honors. So, full complement honors for military officers. We have Gun Salute, Major General. Gun salute is 13, raffles is 2, and the music is general march, and the unit size is company. Brigadier general, is gun salute is 11, and raffles is 1, and the music is general march, and the unit size is also company. The recap of what we have lectured for today. We define the definition of customs and traditions. So, the military traditions, valor, honor, duty, loyalty, solidarity, and we also learn the significant military customs like national colors and anthems, national flag, national anthem, and salute, flag ceremony, flag retreat, the three valleys over grave, and the white flag of truce, and wearing of decorations, the raising of right hand in taking oath, 
And the ceremony tendered to a retiree. Pipe calls, courtesy of post, and military honors. So that's the end of our lecture for today. Once again, I am Private Jason Tormon, Philippine Army Reserve. Good morning everyone and have a nice day.